Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Cristando and we're continuing to play Heavy Rain. Oh shit, I wasn't ready for it. Sorry. I got it. I got it now. How cool. God. Piano is so shiny. Very cool. Yeah, the detail in this game is insane. I love it. Love it so much. So guys, I think we are getting close to beating the game. Uh, as far as I can tell, there shouldn't be much more left. Um, the story's kind of taken a turn. Your yeah, vodka, I've played sir. a couple hours of it already. Thanks. I, I don't you know what's going preoccupied. on. If you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. <laughs> Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Are we at a hotel? Where are we? What's going on? Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. What that that stuff he's trying sniffs? to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. What is this his uh dealer? It's it more and more difficult. Wait, is that it'll end up killing Are you kidding me? <laughs> Every time I do a voiceover. That would be most unfortunate, sir. I do any type of voiceover, any type of recording, any type of... What's happening? Okay, guys, sorry. Sorry. I'm just gonna leave this in. Authentic. Oh, I can't really change anything. I'm playing. God, I'm not gonna start over because there's cops in my neighborhood. So, oh well. I, I kind of missed what they were talking about. But we're gonna look well, into well. some clues. Looks like there's something new. So the video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. I don't know if I like this character. Like, I feel like he has really good intentions, but... Mm. Okay, so I am... It took me a minute to figure out... Jackson Neville. AKA Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Okay, good enough for me. Fine. Yeah, guys, sorry about the, the police sirens in the background. I'm I'm not there's nothing I can really do about it. I'm doing my doing my thing right now, so it's just life. Oh, well. I thought it was in the game for a minute. Wow, look at his hands. Did you guys see his hands? Oh, the one detail? One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. Is this like his dealer? It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit. It's... It's coming. Yeah, maybe Trip we should go see a doctor. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some... And the Trip to go away. What was something that numbs something? I, I don't know what that would be. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control. I'm getting I dizzy until it goes from away. this, guys. You know what? We're not gonna fight it. I'm just gonna give him his fix. I don't have all day. I really want to look around this little hotel, but oh well. Looks like bath salts or something. <laughs> you never know. 
Yeah, I, I like the character mainly because he's like a good detective. But I don't like the character because he's just like, there's something off-putting about him. He's kind of weird. And he's got like an addiction problem, so. He can't really be trusted, now can he? I mean, what do I know? Okay, it seems that we're at Manfred's Antique store. Uh, a shit ton of clocks, typewriters, like I said, antiques. I guess we're here to figure out some more information on uh, a letter, because she had a letter, um, multiple people. Manfred! Who've been uh, victims. Manfred! Or know the victims of the Anybody origami home? killer have had letters. Hi there, Manfred. Hello. Who is it? Oh, it's Scott. a precious. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. My age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, a hello, friend. Lady. Well, uh -huh. this, this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. His voice sounds super familiar. If you guys know if that's like a famous voice actor, let me uh, drop some info in the comments, please. Let me know. Oh shit! This camera, I swear to God, it's L1. Do an old man a favor, would you, and Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. It does sure, me off. no problem. I got this. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure out where we are, don't worry. <laughs> Dude, this is your store. We haven't seen each other in a decade, and I'm answering it for you. Free labor? Hello? Yeah, this is Manfreds. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Okay, cool. There's a lot of clocks in here, y'all, and it's making me slightly nervous and irritated to a, to a degree. Uh, I feel like Captain Hook right now. Well, to old friends. All right. Oh. <sighs> you look like a baby. You did. I, I kind of like her, but at the same time, I, I really Do you don't. like it? Yes, it's beautiful. It's a Stradelli. Crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Aw, he is precious. It's one of my favorite pieces. I mean, it's really cool. But, um, I just feel like overall this is so unprofessional. Tell me, Scott. What brings you back? After all these years, I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh, well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. No, I feel like it's unprofessional that he has you know, this woman with him, and she, it's kind of like a conflict of interest to a degree, and it's a liability. It's, you know, he's the private investigator, not her. Thanks. But, but mainly, she's a liability. Now let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Cool. These typewriters, are they rare? 
No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. I'm not Are gonna there lie. Are there places around that could prepare one of these? I can't take the sound in much I longer. Want the company's entire stock of spare parts for a song. In it's clocks. Uh, I mean. 64. Well, they were gonna take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> no, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Okay. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes. I'm surprised right uh, she's so quiet. <laughs> okay, well. Do you think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. I have a typewriter. Well, it's not mine. Well, it's mine now. It was given to me. And uh, this, it's locked. We don't know where the key is. So I don't know what kind it is, but it looks fancy. One day. We'll figure that out. Oh, she's kind of cute. I don't know, though. I don't know how to feel about her. Like, I kind of want them to be together. There is chemistry, but there's also a trauma bond, and that's not healthy. So I don't know if I really want to root for them to be together or not. Um, I do want her to have some closure because she deserves it. But she needs to seriously back Hello. up a little bit. Manfred. Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police Excuse call me? will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? What? Okay, we didn't hear anything. We didn't... Guess he was hit. Oh my god. He's dead. Oh. Aw, Manfred. If I ever get another fish, I will name him after you. I had a fish a while back. And had him for five years. His name was Cupid. It's relevant because tomorrow's Valentine's Day. And... He died uh, at five years old of uh, fin rot. I think that's what it was. It was very oh sad. What are you doing? I said never again. I'm never get the, the fish again. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. It was emotional. What do you mean? Yeah. What? We have nothing to do with his death. We you were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, that seems so sketchy. I don't really remember a whole lot from playing this. I've only, I, you know, I think twice, maybe three times. Watch the front but... door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. What? Gotta work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. Uh, did we miss something? Did the game glitch out? Because, uh, uh, the only reason you'd want to get rid of your fingerprints, good sir, is if you're trying to hide something. And I, I don't know how to feel. Yeah, like, um, I'm confused, but whatever. Let's just get rid of the fingerprints and ask questions later. I think it's shady as hell that he's acting really nervous and he wants to get out of here without doing the, you know, the protocol the way the protocol is meant to be. That's why it's called protocol. He was a cop, apparently. Now he's a P.I. dick. And he's acting like one, I'll tell you that. And letting this old man die and not even being emotional about it. I'm getting some very confusing vibes off this guy. So maybe, maybe I'm not remembering things so straight. Because I'm starting to get suspicious. A little sus. And, and the thing is, I like this character. I want good things for this character, but this is just guilty conscious or something this guy's guilty of something we all, you know i already said it you already know it ah 
And is his name really Scott Shelby? Like, I know for a fact God, in my heart. Be much longer. The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. That, um, they made me lose my train of thought. That Ethan's innocent. He would never. He's just traumatized. Did you get all the prints? Uh, probably. I don't know. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. But come on, let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't feel right about this, y'all. I don't. That guy was sweet. Sweet old man. Okay, so, whoa. So, whoa. you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop? Uh, I thought I got all the prints. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. I mean, we were there, right? All the way there? You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Seriously? You saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Yeah, he's acting really shady, really sus, and I don't like it. His body language is telling me that he's losing his grip or something like... I don't know. I don't remember... Well, well, Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of you. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. Are we cool or not? I can't tell if he's being aggressive you want or anything being at the chill. moment. Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Um Sure. Sure. Oh, shit. <laughs> I actually hate the word sure. I hate it. I don't like that word. Uh, it just... Mm -mm. Where are we going? It's not convincing. I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We are partners, Ouch. remember? We had a deal. Hit my arm. You're not partners, by the way. This isn't a game, Lauren. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you again. Oh, he likes I'm her, guys. He likes her. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. I understand where she's coming from, but she really does need to back up. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to go home and let me get on with my investigation. Good girl? Stop Excuse me? Yeah, that's right. Stop the fucking stop car. Stop the fucking car. Fuck that. This guy's insane. Okay, that's not okay. Are you trying to take out someone else's kid? Come on, how about we not? How about we not? That's just insane. Look. I understand you're upset. If you're you not need to chill. Find the bastard who killed my Johnny, I'll do it on my own. Guys, I am sweaty. <laughs> TMI, I don't Crap, care. I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Because you like her. This could be a thing, guys. I Such wonder if they, an idiot. if they could end up together. You better catch up with her. Oh, I didn't even see the option to get out of the car. All the text was blocking Lauren. that. I love his style, though. I really do. But he's weirding me out. I miss him so much. I do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Understandable. That's your child. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that 
I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Oh, there's definitely chemistry, definitely a connection there, and 100% um, a possibility of them getting together. I don't know. Uh, oh, I mean, he's a good guy, right? I mean, but he's making me a little suspicious of him, but that could just be he's really determined to save Sean. So I'm going to go with that for now because I really don't know who the killer could be off the top of my head. I just I cannot remember... I slightly remember the last ending I had was unfortunate, uh, but yeah, okay, so, oh god, I forgot about this. So we have to, uh, take out this guy in order to get more, uh, information on the address as to where we need to go to save our son because he's drowning, or going to drown if we don't hurry, so I'm gonna take this situation into my hands right now by saying that we're gonna do what we gotta do. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? I feel Are bad about this, but it has to happen. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? God, I'm gonna throw your brains out, you son of a bitch! Oh my god! Okay. Um, I'm pretty good at quick time, so just I gotta concentrate. I really doubt Ethan can die right now because, you know, the game would be over, but we gotta be careful. He could bleed out, get shot, something, get shot and bleed out, whatever. Oh god, this guy has kids. Shit. Oh my god, okay, dude, how many fucking bullets you got that shoddy? You gonna reload at some point? That was about six shots, right? Five or six? That should be about it. Are we holding like a gangster? Hold it, oh man. shit. Not gangsta, gangster. I whatever you Mafia. Want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? And this guy reminds me of somebody Please. from The Sopranos. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? Look. This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. I can't tell what your accent Please, is. I'm man. confused. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. Look, I don't want to do this, but I have to, so. I'm a father. Look away, you can't handle it. Oh my god. And I have no choice. Ethan. We had to do it. We had to do it. Oh, little burger lamp. Oh god, I feel terrible. And the thing is, with every time he does some sort of deed, the answer is right there under his nose. So I bet this fucking shit is gonna be in this guy's pocket, or in his own pocket, or in the fucking ether somewhere. I hate this. I hate this so much. If he gets caught, this is gonna be really hard to explain. And I don't know what's gonna happen. There's like 20 fucking endings to this shit. In the gun grip. Our gun? I thought it was gonna be the other guy's gun. I'm like, that made sense. So this entire time, the fucking answer was in our own hands, our own at our own disposal, and we just had to kill some fucking guy for a couple letters, right? Because it's only a couple at a time, like maybe three or four letters and numbers. This kid ain't gonna fucking make it, even if I save him. He's gonna be all fucked up hypothermia, possible, like, uh, what is it, atrophy, muscle atrophy, like, this, something, something, Roosevelt, probably Rose, Roosevelt Street, Roosevelt Lane, Roosevelt Drive, we can Google this, can't we, is Google a thing, wish it was, god, well, we did we what we had to do, um, and now we're gonna leave, 
I hate the fact that he puked because now his evidence is all over the fucking floor. So even if we go and save our child, I have a feeling that we're, go we're still going to get in trouble. I'll be damned. The owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Okay, guys, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I remember this, and every time I've done this mission, I did not make it. Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. I've grown. I've matured since then. I, my gamer skill has gone up, and uh, I feel like uh, there is a possibility that she may uh, do just fine. We'll do, we'll do just Hi. fine. I was told that you could get bitropin without a prescription. I don't know. I don't know what that Sorry. is. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm not gonna get my hand crushed in this door. Just knock again. That's what we do. Uh, persistence I, I, is a good thing. I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please come in. He looks like um, Colin Mockery from Whose Line Is It Anyway? To a degree, to a degree, but I'm a, the shirt and the hairstyle and the age is really, and the pants. So, you're uh, looking for Betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no. That shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have is one. Any, is anyone going to ask about names? No, well, Introductions? Alcohols take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. That is your idea, sir, not mine. I will not be drinking anything. No. <laughs> um, no. If there was a plant next to me, I would throw it in there. Uh, I'm just going to hold it, and you can't force me to drink it, so... Unless the game I just drinks it on its own. Before. Who told you about me? I didn't really think he was going to ask that. Um, I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Yeah, I don't like being vague. That was awkward. No, don't you, you dare. you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? No. Forget it. And this is when we leave. I'm not for this sale. is when we leave. This is when we leave. I heard you had some apartments for rent. Okay. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. And this is super awkward. I was looking for something around Marble Street. And she's acting like a freaking undercover cop. Like, more obvious. <laughs> I mean, how... How much more obvious could you be? You're not drinking? No. I am... Um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. Yeah. The audacity this guy has. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. To expect... Wait here. ...us to drink something from him. He is a stranger. We don't know who he is. I we don't even have a first name basis. If maybe he said, hello, my name is Arnold, before he gets uh, Bobby, whatever. Maybe, okay, sir, I'll have champa uh, champagne. Thank you, but I don't even know your name. 
Okay, he's a doctor. And uh, his stylist needs to be fired ASAP. I hate it in here. I feel like I'm in like a doctor's office. And I guess this could be Doc one. Maybe be it is, in but I don't like amongst it. Amongst other things. Why is this doctor's office in a house? Um, and why is it poorly uh, decorated? And can we get out of here, please? I want to go. Maybe a quick look behind can't those go. doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. Something is telling me not to, but I guess I don't really have a choice. And I kind of wish she would change outfits. She's been wearing the same thing for like a minute now. This music is freaking me out. Paco. Or Paco? What did it say? Paco? Or Taco? I can't. I, it said Ako something, you know. Her hand was in the way. Um, can I please just sit back down? This music is freaking me out. I don't want to discover anything. I just want to sit down. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Yeah, and he was... Oh, God. This is just so shady. Okay, it's a bathroom. I, I don't really feel too weird about this because maybe I had a pee while he was getting my prescription. Um, but the way he called it a prescription was really disturbing. So, yeah, let's go into the oh, kitchen. Oh, ferret. God. Oh, is that her blood? Together, my darling. I Please promise. tell me she didn't just die. I cannot remember. I know <laughs> things didn't work out last couple times we played up to this point with her, but I'm just going to concentrate. Oh my god. Ah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. This is so So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rented to my friend Paco. If you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn, because as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. This is scary. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. Practice on him, I not me. I any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Um. Hold tight. This might sting a little. You're lazy. That's what I'm gonna say. You're lazy as hell. And what in the hell are you gonna do with that thing? Where's it going? My knee? Or my what? <gasps> no, you don't. As as oh you my God! What's he going to? Comes I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. No. I won't be long. I don't know where that drill is going, but I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I let her die like this. Hell no. Yeah, this is not good, guys. But I, uh, I'm getting farther than I thought I would. So it's gonna Hello, be okay, sir. Madison. I come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. Uh, no, the irony is significant, but the accent is questionable. Come now, bro. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We. His humble flock should... I thought we were in, in, like, Jersey. Like, up north. Why does he sound like he's from, like, Mississippi or uh, Louisiana or, or Tennessee, if that. 
could be a accent to relate to. Oh my god. Doesn't matter. I, I listen to accents. I don't know why. Fuck this guy. Seriously, this guy's pissing me off. He looks like Colin Mockery. It's confusing. But yeah, I'm good at this. I'm good. Fuck this dude. I'm done. Okay, okay. I'm getting very uh, worried that I might push the wrong button at any moment and it's over. Like this game does not like fucking play around. Oh. It's a sick bastard. Fuck. I mean, like, I am still confused as to uh, why we're even here. Like, I know she wanted to check up on some things about that uh, apartment that Ethan went to, but um, how does she even know? And hey, don't touch her. Jesus. What kind of fucked up shit is this? No, 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 no. Yes, murder! Dude, if you, if you like touched her, uncool. And trying to murder her. Super uncool. Goodbye. You have been eliminated from the game. We're done. Maybe if you had just been cool. Uh, straightforward, this wouldn't have happened. Okay, we're with Jaden, and we're gonna go check out, uh, I guess, a suspect or a person of interest. Yeah, let's. We're going in alone. This place seems kind of far away from town. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but let's see what happens. I don't really remember this part. Which is kind of fun. It's kind of new. I like the idea of playing a game that's... Hey, Cracker! It makes me feel what like What you that. doing in there? Excuse me? No, I'm Jaden. <laughs> FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. Mm -hmm. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. What? I feel like he is not being truthful with us, so I'm just going to look around. Okay. Trying to solve a murder. Trying to save a life here. You got a nice place. You know, got a nice little business here. Let me just do my job. And you can do your job. Cool. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jack's. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't see anyone, uh, anyone else here, so. Blood. Now, why is there blood here? Oh, well, I don't know about that one. I thought it was oil, the like car oil. I don't want to just assume it was blood, you know. Yeah, it's definitely blood, okay. Confirmed. The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Why is there an acid bath? What are y'all putting in there? You know what? What part of a car goes into an acid bath? 
I don't understand. It's not telling me whose blood it is, which is surprising. Oh my God. No, thank you. No, thank you. Is he behind me? Because he was uh, over there outside of the warehouse, so that's a little... I would have noticed that. One of your that. cop buddies so asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Excuse me? Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta get out of this. We are doing our job. Oh wow, it, the glasses made everything. Okay, I forget about that. I was like, why is it so, like, weird looking? Grainy and all that. Now I know. This is a really fun fight scene. game is awesome. Like, that was pretty Enough detailed Enough fucking right around. There. You're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Uh. <laughs> Last okay. chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? Neither do you. Cuff me? You have sweet, you like gentle fireworks, eyes. You like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, you say it was an <laughs> accident. Scared. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident cause you won't really be able to talk. Well, yeah, Jack. Well, yeah, Jack. Oh, crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, man. <laughs> well, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted That's me funny. to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. And I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named... Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything? Oh no. Oh, shit, not now. I need to know more about what he's on because anything you we say need to get him can some help. will be hey. call somebody. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. I don't like this. I'm scared. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I mean, I should have a partner with me, to be honest. This is like a two-man job right here. Especially if I have, like, you know, withdrawal issues. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. Turn around. <laughs> okay, we're good. Got him. He seems like a nice guy, but we have questions. We have a couple questions. Clear some things up. Clear your name. And you can come back here and do your thing. Whatever. But there is a skull in your acid bath, sir, and I don't appreciate that. I don't think anyone does. Okay, we're at Scott Shelby's apartment. I guess we're going to get in here and figure out what's next. I really do like his place, by the way. I like that green, a lot of vintage-esque vibes going on here. I love it. Let's see what happens. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. I doubt magazines it's Gordy. about origami. You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. Cool. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. 
Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. This is gonna be fun. I love doing stuff like this. Interactive. Yeah, there's gotta be some sort of intimacy going on between them. Not like, you know, lustful intimacy, but like romantic on some level. Because like, if you use someone's shower, you know, in this situation, I feel like she's trying to get closer to him. And I can't tell if he's crushing on her, but I feel like maybe she might be crushing on him yet. There's a chance that she could be manipulating him into getting what she wants, which is justice slash closure for her son, which I understand, but still at the same time, I can't really read them. I don't know what's going on. It's unprofessional on many levels that he's letting her do this ride along with him because he's putting her in danger. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I, I get it, but at the same time, you know, whatever. Um, how long does it take? Let's go. This is very fun. This is a cool game. So far, I'm having some suspicions about Scott Shelby here, and I'm wondering about Ethan. Did I make the right decision earlier by offing that guy? Probably not. I, I feel like that might have might have messed me up a little bit. I probably should have just let him live. But I, did, I just didn't want any bumps in the road. What? That's like an omelet. So cute. I do love that table and the chairs. I don't know. The way he was like, we got to cover the, you know, we got to get rid of the fingerprints. That's super sketch to me. That was the fastest shower ever. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Uh, I don't know, guys. We'll just see. We'll fill it out. Uh, hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. Ah. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one. That's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. Wait, why is he... He's kind of acting like he don't want her to know something. And I'm kind of sick of her, like... I don't, I'm sick of her vibes, you know? You know? Like, if I just the killer want her to go really home and used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is uh, here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. How about you get dressed? <laughs> how about you get dressed and uh, we... Uh, Call it a night. I, I'd rather him figure this out than her. This is bothering me. It's kind of a cool little montage here. I don't know why it's bothering me. I just guess it's... I don't know. Yeah, there's no... Uh, there's no way... That she just saw the only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. Okay, let's go. You never let's get find out, do you? This is such a cool mystery. I love it. He is so done. He's like, it's raining. It's cold. I've been going on stop for hours upon hours. Just want to go home and eat that shitty omelet. <laughs> I guess what she, she's headstrong, right? Is that what this is? I mean, she's determined as well. I get it. She wants to know what happened to her child. I just feel... Like, there's some plot point issues. <clears throat> and I, I can't really... I can't really 
explain I, I can't explain it i guess like excuse me i guess i already did explain it i'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago his name was john shepherd you wouldn't know where it is by any chance the children's graves are in the next plot thanks I like the handheld camera effect, it makes it feel really enthralling on some level, like, like you're really in the moment. Emo it's, there's like motion, you know, a lot of emotion coming from that handheld vibe. God, this game is beautiful. If they remaster this for the PS5, if I ever get a PS5, I will buy this again. Hmm, this is so peaceful. This is a game for people who like the rain, <laughs> first off. Secondly, uh, people who like choose your own adventure. Thirdly, <clears throat> people who like to solve mysteries. Children plot. Okay, we're not gonna name the kid. I went to a cemetery one time and there was this little grave and it said baby on it. And I was like, y'all really not even gonna name the kid? I'm just gonna name it baby? It's really sad. Hey Scott, where are you going? John Shepherd's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in a cemetery? <laughs> Take it easy, the dead I don't know. mind. I didn't know. Is that a thing? Is that it? Have you given up? Oh my god, she's getting my nerves. I was just nerves. having a look around, if you don't mind. I thought I found a new partner, not another lieutenant. <laughs> okay, god. Got a little mixed up. That lady said it was in the next plot. I assumed it was over here. Where I was. And now... Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for... Uh, well, don't what? worry about it. Manage alone. What? What just happened? That was confusing. Anyway, let's keep going. I absolutely love the detail. I'm assuming a lot of these names are like people who worked on the game, which is kind of cool. I found it. Okay. Your knees are getting wet, by the way. These so flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. <laughs> oh, youngin. Oh, sorry. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Okay, guys, we're gonna uh, stop it here. This has been one hell of a ride. I feel like we're getting towards the end, but that's okay. We need some resol resolution, okay? It's been very, very tense. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, if you may. And follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and... Um, yeah, share this with your friends. Help me grow my channel. I'm trying to hit 300. And before too long, another episode will come out probably next week. Or the actually the end of this week. I'll have another one out for you guys. So please take care. And I'll see you all in the next one.